purple female. So this little girl is taking her time in coming out of the enclosure, so we uh, really want to see how she handles the stress of being taken away from her litter mates and, you know, just dropped in this room. She's never been here and she's never met me before. So we would like to try to give her some time to push through and come out on her own. I'm trying not to really look at her and just uh, let her figure it out. See, she's gone from sitting to standing. And uh, I guess at this time I can say that um, if your puppy is feeling really stressed and, and insecure, uh, the worst thing you can do is uh, pick her up and coddle her because uh, that's probably what you'd like to do, which is totally understandable. Um, but there are a lot of stressors going to happen in her life and if she doesn't learn to handle some of that um, by herself, um, it's, it's hard. It's, it's a hard way to go through life like that. So you want to try to increase her confidence and, uh, and uh, get her to, to the point where she can kind of shake off some stress and, and go forward on her own. So, not very long at all really. Hi. Hi little woman. So I'm going to give her a bit of affection just so that she knows I'm okay and she did the right thing to come to me, yeah? You're a very pretty girl. Mm -hmm. You're a very pretty girl. So on the release, um, she she did really, really well actually because uh, it took her a while, but she did push through on her own. Uh, some puppies, I cannot get them away from the door. Even if I encourage them and talk to them and try to play with them. Uh, so she did really well. But uh, she... <laughs> she uh, is basically uh, showing us that she has a little uh, lack of confidence. So she is just licking me to death, and her tail is quite happy. Yes? Yeah? Very good, good little girl. So, yay! So some puppies just sort of come over to me and like plop down on my lap. Uh, and they can be social because they. <laughs> Hi. Uh, social because they just plain want to be with you and nothing else interests them. Or they can, you know, stay on your lap because that's the safest place and they're looking to you for some help. So, uh, what are we doing? Hey, what are we doing? So she has the ability to go and look at the uh, tents and the balls and the whole room. Uh, some puppies never visit with me at all, they just go off exploring, which would show a really high environmental side. Very good little girl. So that is really, really nice. Um, she's off to explore. You can see she has a bit of a lower body set and she's looking and uh, careful. But she has enough, uh, <laughs> there's the big body stretch because she doesn't know what the tent is. You can see that she keeps coming back to me. So she's uh, curious enough that she is leaving, but she's still coming back a lot. 
So she's, she's, um, she did leave me, uh, so she does have a little bit of an environmental aspect to her. But uh, I would have to uh, say that this little girl is pretty 50-50 because I'm going to give her a chance to go away again. If she doesn't, she's definitely leaning on the social side. So, we'll just give her a minute. And I'm going to go quiet and not speak as she's licking the death out of my hands right now. Her, you can see on the video that her tail is wagging quite nicely, so she's not feeling, uh, you know, too much stress, because she would be like this. Now she is using her teeth on my clothes, no. So there are exercises in your book um, to discourage and teach her that there is no uh, teeth on skin. Yeah? You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Yeah? So they do explore their world with their, their mouths sometimes just to see what things are, but uh, I, don't, I really don't address it on the uh, assessment unless it becomes a real problem. Uh, she is just um, licking me. <laughs> yeah? Do you want to get up and do something? So I did say that she was 50-50, uh, but I... Uh, Pretty well when I watch my video. I well, there she's off. And I don't know if you saw it on the video, but she had a pretty, a pretty good uh, body shake, and that's her way of shaking off the stress that she feels. So this could be similar to how she might behave when you take her home, because it's all new, and this is how she's. This is how she's handling a new thing. <laughs> that was a really big one, little girl. Hmm? So she's very helpful, curious, <laughs> and you don't want to be near this chemical. So why don't you play with this? Look. There you go. to the checking in exercise and basically I'm going to walk around and see if this little girl follows me, uh, tries to nip at my feet, doesn't care where I am. Are you going to come? So basically what you want to have her do is pretty well always be aware of where you are. So you. You want to go to a family picnic and she's, she can play with puppy puppy, puppy puppy, puppy cup, puppy cup, yes. So she's not sure what I'm doing when I'm walking around. Puppy cup. You're probably not on video. You're right in the corner. Okay, as I was saying, you want to be able to take her somewhere and uh, she can go and play with other dogs and stuff, but she really should like be looking to see where you are and check in, check in with you. That's not, uh, hopefully not your, <laughs> you're not going to be looking for her all the time. So I'm going to start her off with a little treat. Would you like that treat? Good girl. Good girl. Puppy go. Oh, I don't know if the video is catching that corner, but she just had a huge big yawn. That's also a sign of stress. Very, very good. Puppy come. Puppy come. Yeah. Yes. And super, super, super praise. And I'm going to give her a little treat. Very good. 
So at this point, she didn't really, so she's not following me naturally. So we're going to encourage that. I can stay over here, look. <laughs> there you got it. So as far as exercises go, look at her compared to a minute ago. And that was just a little treat. Yay! Yes, puppy! Very good. Whoop! <laughs> oh. oh, wow! So to... Uh, Elaborate on this uh, exercise, you would do this in a, a small room like this and then make the room bigger and then maybe out in your backyard before you take her to a big uh, dog park or a family reunion or something. You can imagine how overwhelming those two places would be. So don't take her anywhere huge until you have established the bond and she has an understanding of uh, being with you, like if you call her to come. Yes, yes, very, very good. What is this here? So introduce her to the toys. What's that? Look, you can go in, look. What's in here? Look, look, look. What's that? What's that? Yeah. Very good. So nice body height, nice action. Nice tail. <laughs> and she's turning into a little more social dog, as you can see. Yay! So lots and lots and lots of praise when she comes. I'm going to try and get that word in there. Look, what about this one? What about this one? Look, what's that one? Very good. Very good. Go see what it is. Puppy go. Yes. Super job. Super job. So she's leaning on the more social side here, which is very nice. And look how much happier and playful. The use of her paws she's, has a lot of expression. Um, I think she would like to be picked up which I'm not going to do. Very good. Now she's like, I don't know what to do. Puppy go. Yes. Very good job. So now I'm just going to pick her up and see how patient and tolerant she is with me. So I might not be holding her very nicely. <laughs> how about that? Is that better? That's better. Very good. So, she has uh, grooming appointments and bed appointments, and um, she has to have some patience in her life, so that was very good. I, I could feel that I didn't have uh, support when I picked her up the first time, so the second time she was excellent. So, very, very good levels. Yes? <laughs> very good levels. Yeah? How about this? <laughs> what do you think about this? And the vocal side of her is quite nice, actually. Some people uh, uh, like, like to shut it down, but she's actually trying to communicate with you, so that's pretty nice. What's this here? Look. Very good. So that's pretty nice and curious. Very good. Very good. Can you go get it? Look. Look. How about it? Yay! Puppy break! Puppy break! Puppy break! Yay! <laughs> and she dropped it very nicely. You want to do it again? Go get it again. No? <laughs> so she did really well the first time. She was quite interactive. So this is a, a social sign. She would rather stay with me than go after the ball. <laughs> My hand. <laughs> yes! Puppy bring! 
Happy Ring. <laughs> so this little girl is very responsive to your voice and your excitement level. Uh, so if you find that she gets too excited, you can just calm yourself down, which is easy, easy to do. This was really good. A lot of puppies are shy away from the noise of the paper. So she's showing a bit of confidence there. Um, fetch is great for their body and their mental stimulation. So encourage that and give her a, a, it's a good way to bond also to spend good time together. So very good job. <laughs> Very good. Now, if we do another little test, it's a treat test to see how excited she gets over the treat. Now, we've already introduced treats to her to get, get her to come to us, so we know that she likes the treat. Now, she's getting a little excited. So we know she likes the treat, so we're just trying to see if she loses focus completely and... Uh, or can she maintain her composure and, and figure out my little exercise? Can you come over here? That's a good girl. Hmm. So look. Oh, wrong cup. Look, what's up Just a car. Don't give up. Don't give up. Very good. So very smart. She really worked hard at that. Uh, she was distracted by some noises outside. But she's laying down and eating and some puppies just knock the cup over and in a frenzy start playing with it around the room because they've totally lost focus. But this little girl is uh, quite smart. And I think, you know, treats are great. If you, if you find she gets too excited, just go back to using kibble. And <laughs> good girl. Yeah, so the, the, the ultimate goal is to find a treat that is super rewarding and she knows that it's a reward for doing a good job, but not overwhelming. So that's the idea, basically. Yeah. And this is the part that some shyer puppies. Very good. How about this ball? Look. How about that ball? Look. How about this ball? Nice pink one. Look. So ideally, I like to try to do that noise when they're facing the other way. So she did turn and start out, and she did come to my feet. So this little girl, when she's uh, stressed, she is going to look to you for support. Uh, some puppies go to the door, and some puppies don't care. This little girl, I'm talking, because I want to see if she'll fight, uh, go through that stress. <clears throat> so if she had to shut down completely, I would encourage forward movement. But as you can see, her tail is wagging. She's kind of looking for the noise. She is uh, asking. She's leaning on me and lying on my feet. <clears throat> so again, it's the don't coddle. You're just going to re redirect that energy and get her up and moving forward. Um, what do you think? I'm going to leave. Happy go. Yes. Very good. And how about this? Look, just get her playing. What's up? Just redirect her energy. Yeah. What's that? Very good. So she is uh, now tail wagging and back to being her pretty, the way she was before the noise, which is really, really good. Um, just don't coddle her, and uh, she may benefit if you kind of do a noise behind her, and then, and then lowly, like a low noise, and then increase the noise. Um, it's in your puppy training kit, so it's really just a desensitizing. So, um, <laughs> what are you 
doing? Are you a little mad at me? Look, what's this? Hang on. So there's a little shy of the noise. But she's curious. Very, very good. Very good. So again, uh, it introduced lots of sounds and different motions and stuff and just broaden her world. She just needs to get a little comfortable. But a little more comfortable with some things. Okay, Skylar. Sorry. It's I have okay. a dog leaving and I need his leash. Okay. <sighs> no problem. You ignore Skylar, you. <laughs> so this is a basic prey drive. So you can see that she's pretty attached to it right from the get-go. Skylar is a little bit of a distraction, but now she's gone. Let's see what we do. Yeah, she, so she has a fairly high, you know, she was kind of attached to that right from the get beginning. It was a fairly big kill shake. Hey, and she's sort of trying to take it away. <laughs> which is a, another sort of indication of a prey drive, and she's just over there with it. So very <laughs> So overall, um, the, the prey drive actually surprised me. So there's tons of exercises like the watch me and drop it and leave it, stuff like that, to put her attention back on you. And uh, she has lovely energy, a very pretty girl. She's very smart. Just, to, just you know, focus on interaction and playing and introduce new things to her. She's lovely. I hope you enjoy. Very, very good. Good little test. Do you want this? <coughs>